just give, let me get started. Grab your attention. We're going to go ahead and call this meeting to order. It is a special call meeting, and the only item on the agenda is the annexation, and that's the only thing that can be discussed at the meeting tonight. And thank you all for coming out. Uh, Kevin's got some stuff to, to hand out. We put together a packet for everybody. This is the meeting that, and I know some of you were here last week, which we weren't really supposed to do much with it. That was for tonight. But uh, we've got some information that talks a little bit about uh, some sewer rates uh, at 2,000 gallon usage, 5,000 gallon usage, just to give you an idea what rates would be. We've also got a sheet in there that came from the PVA office showing the property valuations and what approximate tax benefit or tax rate would be if this goes through. Just to try to give you all the information we can. Uh, like I said, we had, reach, had people reach out for sewer service because of the issues with some tanks not working. Mike's not here at all. Mosley, Lysander, and Morris. Here comes um, Miles Snodgrass-Tina's son. I don't know if that, is that Chad? Miles. No, he's not giving it to Tina. Oh, <laughs> Tina's yeah, back there. Tina's <laughs> back there. We gave her that one. Phew, it's Monday. I say we were, oh. when we were approached, it was probably 2020 about the possibility of extending sewer services. And at the time, I told the different ones I talked to, there wasn't much likelihood of doing it because you're looking at probably, at that time, almost a million dollars to do that. And, uh, then, of course, COVID was going on, and the federal government started getting free with some money, and we were able to put together some funding to put this system in place with no cost to any of the property owners. The only cost you would have to incur would be if you chose to hook up to it right now or, or whenever you did. Uh, nothing would even say you'd have to hook up to it right now. You know, if you're, everything's going fine, that's okay, but it, it would be there, and everything would be, uh, there would be a line to everybody's property line except for two, but then it's right, it's across the streets why it's not. So it, it's easy access to get to everything. And we tried to design it where it was as easy to get to and as cost efficient to get to as possible all the way around. Um, the tax rate, I say that's based on the current PVA tax valuation, came right off their web page, their website, because uh, one of them I did check on because the agriculture is a little different on the way it's valued. So, but that would give everybody an idea of what it would be. Uh, I do look for our tax rates. I say this, and it may not happen, but I look for our tax rates probably to drop in November. Uh, we went, what, four years in a row that ours dropped. Uh, and then one year it went way up. I don't understand it. It's the way the state has us to calculate. We're not allowed to increase our property taxes by more than 4% a year without it being subject to recall. Most times we take what's called the compensating rate, which the state tells us, okay, with the assessed value and your state corporate limits, if you're charged this much, you'd bring in the same amount of money as you did last year. And that's what we do most years. Sometimes we take a 4% increase, but not always. But because of, I know there's been quite a bit of new construction this year that will go into effect uh, the WPT facility out here and some of the factory work that's gone on, I kind of look for that number to drop. I can't guarantee it, but again, past experience. But uh, that's kind of what we're at. We were able to secure the million dollars to put this project together. 400,000 of it we have access to that we can control. The other 600,000 came from state special, special state funding through the federal government. And uh, that's kind of where we're at. Uh, the property is the, basically a block from 231 straight back up uh, Perry, Washington. And, and all the way across the back and straight up the other side, pretty much. I've got a map someone wants to look at it. It's kind of crooked on the, if you're on 231 facing, it's a little crooked on the right side because of the way the property lines work in there. But that's what we've put together. Uh, we've had the first, like I say, reading of the intent to annex. This is a long, drawn-out process, I will tell you that. Uh, but we just have this, this first meeting here for anyone have any questions, comments, or concerns. So we're just 
You say you've got the information in front of you. We'll just kind of open it up from there. So with it being a grant, there's, there's no amortization of the project in the cost of the sewer, right? No. Yeah. Nope. Like I say the only cost would ever be to the homeowners if, if and when they hook up to it, just running whatever line hooks into it. We're even waiving. There's a $200, $250 sewer connection fee, and we're waiving that for everybody, too, because by getting this grant, we were able to do that. I was, I was kind of curious where our, we, we live at the very end of Charlotte Drive, which, you know, is pretty good slope right in that area. So as the engineer contemplated putting in a lift station if it's needed? There will be a lift station. Uh, in fact, what we were doing, since we were looking at this project, and part of this is on us, we went ahead and expanded a little bit. The lift station is going to go in. What we'll do, there'll be a line come from your house down, is it Samuel Street? Yeah. And the Perry Washington. Mm -hmm. Well, come down Samuel Street to about where uh, <clears throat> her son's at, and then cuts across, and there'll be one coming from the top of the hill of Perry Washington down. Those will meet and go to Perry Washington all the way to 231. And then 231, we're going to go across the front down to the foot of Cates Hill Loop, that low spot right in there. By doing that, that's going to cost us a little bit more than we could have got by with a manhole and a lift station up there at the end of Perry Washington. But by running that other 2,000 or so feet, it's able to use that same money and open up about another four or 500 acres for development that could all gravity to that. That's one reason the state was big on handing out some funds. Yeah, that was my biggest concern was having a split level home, we've got a bathroom on the lower level. So anyway, the lines goes, it's going to have to go uphill at some point. Yeah. When it comes out here, so it, of here. It'll, it'll go uphill once it gets down to that, like I say, the foot of Kate's Hill Loop. Okay. Is this meeting being recorded like last week? Yeah. Okay. That's good. I, I just want to clarify a couple things. Try to speak up where everybody can hear me. So... Those that were here last week, on the 13th, I became aware on the 10th of March that, as you confirmed last meeting, Paul, that you were planning to annex my son and I's farm there on Perry Washington to 31. Um, I had a lot of questions. A couple of them were answered at the last meeting. But one thing I understood was that this was only going to happen if the majority of the homeowners wanted this to happen. There's a process that it goes through with the, and this is all state statute, I have no control over that. Once we have a second vote on this notice to intent to annex, then there is another meeting where we have a vote, first reading of an ordinance to annex, and then stuff is sent out to the property owners with explanation of what has to be done. There has to be a petition formed, a certain percentage has to sign off on that petition. Then the petition is turned in. Then it goes on the ballot in November. And then a certain number of percentage has to vote no for it to pass, or for it to fail or pass, either one. Okay. Well, our understanding at the last meeting was we needed to bring a petition, which we have. No, well, we're not. I, and I, so I told you all at the last meeting, but there's a process, it's, and we're not even close to the petition stage. Well, the process, I would have thought, would include all of the property, property owners knowing what, that this was happening, so we would have had more than 10 days to ask questions. That's why the process takes as long as it does, so we could get the first reading to you all. The notice of intent comes out to everybody, and that way you're aware of what we're looking at doing, and then the process goes from there. It's a, I say it takes a while. Well, but if the majority of the property owners are against it, why would you start the process and, and, and get a grant for federal funds when you knew the property owners didn't want it? They weren't. I talked to some of the property owners who were for it up until last Monday night. Everyone, and I wasn't able to talk to too many people from the 10th to the 11th, but everyone I talked to said they were not for it. Well, some of them changed their mind because I have several I talked to personally that said, yes, they were okay with it. Well, have the majority? I was, I was sitting here when you addressed two of them, and they said, you talked to me at a ball game. Another said, you talked to me at, when well, I'm trying to remember. I know one said, we just talked at a ball game. Yeah. That didn't mean I was for it. Well, the comment given me was that 
Yes, they were, because there was more than one conversation. But that's okay. <clears throat> I'm just, I'm confused how it could have proceeded so far without the majority of people being for it. Like I say, we had the majority at one time. You couldn't have. No way. No way. Not the people I've talked to. They all told me no. Well, they can, okay. I know what I know, but. I think I, we're, we don't want yeah, some signatures. Yeah, I tell you, I'm not down here to call the you don't, you don't have, I mean, there's not more, about three families who would want it up there. People change their mind, I guess, but I know what I was told, yeah. and I'll stand back You're to the last right day. Now. We're not changing our mind, and that's, uh, I don't understand why you go through this. <laughs> and again, I don't understand how, Tina, I don't understand how you didn't know when I know other people knew well, I at Strawberry know. Fest, and I mean, I'm not saying anyway, because I didn't talk, go out there and talk to anybody. Well, but I, I just thought it was common knowledge that they were talking about doing it. I didn't know or nobody... Everybody didn't know. That's I didn't know. I didn't yeah. know that it was even being proposed, and I didn't know that my property was surveyed. I didn't know any of these things until the 10th of March. That was my first knowledge. Now, Donald came to me after the meeting on the 10th and said, in which my son confirmed it, that he asked, did, did he want sewer coming up? on our property up through there and we wanted sewer and he told him no. That's the only thing we ever heard from anybody. Oh, well, I, we want to get sewer. Excuse, excuse me. That's when I talked to your son, I said, we're talking about putting a sewer system up here. He said he was not interested, right? That's right. But I told him that the city was talking about putting a sewer system in. So he knew that Way on, almost two years ago. Well, I appreciated you approaching me as a city council, I mean, as the mayor, uh, because that's official. And no. when you, you did get my, no, we're not interested. Mm -hmm. I appreciate that because I, I wouldn't want somebody, a neighbor come up and say, hey, this is going to happen, or this is what they're talking about doing. It would be more official if you then just went around, knocked on the doors in the second subdivision and asked everybody. Then you wouldn't have this. And even, yeah, that, that's true. Even if you did say the city's looking at it, I think the city's looked at it more than since we've owned that property. I think they've looked at it before, even before I, you bought no. I think, is there a misunderstanding that... I've been there 14 years, and I've never been aware. I've just been there for the three, but... You know, it's only okay, based upon what I'm hearing, it feels like to me that maybe you guys think this process is further along than what it actually is. Is well, that what it sounded like? You mentioned last meeting, I would have never have done this had I not thought you guys wanted it. So now we're saying we don't, so we just don't understand why we have to go through the process. Can I, you said you got the a process petition. is already started. Is it started. only homeowners that you have a petition? Yes, sir. How many of them are? are Eleven. Out of 13, 15? I believe there's 15. 15. But those letters that went out on the 10th were to say, hey, this, this is a possibility. It was just an intent. It didn't say this was a possibility. It read like, this is going to happen. And if you aren't for it, I mean, if you're not against it, you're for it. If you don't come, it almost read like, if you didn't show up on the 20th, this was going to pass. Well, That's how I read it. I read That's it, and I guess I read it differently. Yeah, it, not all of it, it's a bunch of legal it's jargon that makes it seem. As you mentioned, the funding has been secured. An engineer has been hired, has completed preliminary drawings. That sounds like a lot that's happened. Have, Which have, is have, has to happen. We had to do that though before we could get the grant. You can't the, even the, apply. But I'm, just going yeah, I'm not of, saying. Yeah, I understand what you're saying. I'm just going off of the comments that it, I, we would have never done this had we known you did not want it. Meaning. We caused it, no, the majority do not want it. And are we the only ones that have trouble with our septic system? I mean, are we the only ones in the neighborhood that doesn't? No, we do. We did horrible. Well, that's because yeah. it's, I'll be honest, we were, we lived on Louisville Road, right in front of the elementary school when we moved here. We just moved here three years ago. And we were on city water, we were on city sewer. We had to move out of that house after a year because the sewer problems were so bad. You walked out of the house smelling sewage in your face. 
The water problems were horrible. This the Beaver sewage, Dam? I'm sorry. Was this in Beaver Dam? Yes, ma'am, right across from Beaver Dam. Elementary. Rich, you smell there's on a list the station across the street. Mm -hmm. from right. There's a list station did across the street. It was awful. Did you own the home? No, we rented it. Yeah. And the same person that we bought this one from, Dewey Cruz. And yeah. Dewey did everything he could. He had people come out there. We even had the city come out there. They came out there. They worked on the manhole across the street from us. It was the same situation. They could not get rid of the smell in that area. Also, when we came, we had just moved to the area, and we're paying a, some sort of fee from either mismanagement or, or some kind of something with the funds where we were paying an extra 20 or $30 on mm -hmm. our water bill when we had just moved in the area. So that is why we are completely against it, because we've already experienced what it's like to have the sewage and the water through the city, and that's why you we You won't have the water through the city. I'm sorry? You won't have the water through the city. It'll still okay. be through the but county. But water wasn't the issue for us. The issue for us was sewage. There's some in the ditch behind my house. There's sewage, and I'm not talking the gray water. I'm talking black in the ditch behind my house. So it's got to be coming from up the hill somewhere. So. I don't know whose house it's coming from, but it's gross, or your kids, or your dogs, or anything get in it. It is poop water. I mean, plain and simple poop water. So it's and, coming from. And, and every year, when I start mowing grass, I mow in the sewer water. Right there, right there in front of Mr. Darby's house. I'm not, we're not saying it's y'all. We're just saying it isn't there. We don't know where it's coming from. All I'm saying Every is year. we had it before, and it, it was an issue for us as well. So I don't think it's, you know. Yeah, I don't know. You know, I know a lot of people in the city don't have problems, so it might be location. It might be, who knows? I don't know. That. Well, one of the things, where you're at on Little Road, there's a list station across from that house you're talking about. Mm -hmm. That was where you probably get your smell is the lift station. But, but the, the smell lasted for a year. So, I mean. Well, list station know. works as long as there's water in it. Okay, but what I'm saying is, it, you know, after a year of somebody complaining about something, you would think that they would say, okay, this is why it's happening, or fix it, one of the two. You know, all I'm asking, or at that time, all I was asking for was either an explanation or a fix. Well, again, so that would be your explanation is the list so. station. Because what it is, it brings water and takes it up, and then move, our sewage takes it up and moves it out. Mm -hmm. And that churning is going to get the smell. So where's the lift station oh, going to be out if it doesn't It will be in? close to where Blankenship's dad's house was. And right on the corner of our property. No. Um, it's on down, 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 down away from Kate's Hill. Kate's Hill Loop. Kate's Hill Loop. Kate's Hill Loop. Yeah, it's, it's past Blankenship. They do pass Blankenship. Blankenship plays up. Yeah. So they're wanting to go across us and across Blankenship and put the lift station. Yes. It'll be under the, it'll be on the, I guess on the highway. Yeah, the south yeah. side. So, yeah, it won't be on your property. It's going to be on the state or the city's property. Yeah, down. but my understanding until well, we've discussed the police station people. will be lower than all the houses in that neighborhood. Yeah, correct. Similar to like the lift station up there at Minute Mart on the rest home property. Yes. And Minute Mart has a wonderful smell most of the time. Yes, I mean, that's horrible. That so if you have the option of not tying you, you into it, take that it, pool it sounds like last you week, may still have the, an issue. Yeah, last like Monday. Yeah, yeah, they could have the issue still, even if because if it's a person that's caused the problem with sewer, it's not. Yeah, but his is in a neighborhood. Actually, should have. He's he's asking y'all for help. The pool guy was, and y'all didn't have no answer at all for him. And yeah, we right here in town. We've had answers for him. His they're in one of the low spots. Technically, like I told him last week, they should have never been built back there. But that was done 50 years ago. There's nothing we can do about it now but try to do everything he's we can. He's all this trouble. He's paying you for it. It's set, it's set, and then backing up on it, and it's destroying his home. And uh, I know some of y'all could have at least helped him somehow or another. I don't even know the guy, but I know he was set. But the ones of you all that don't want it don't have to hook up, right? I mean, I'm trying to understand. Yeah, but, but that's the whole point. I mean, you don't have to hook up to it. But the thing is, you're affecting a lot of people. It's just like coming all the way, 50% of our farm boundary is included in this. Or that was the original proposal I heard. Now, granted, I only got my information as of the 10th because, you know, it's gonna, that's gonna, it's not gonna be on you. Well, I don't think the sewer line can now. Well, one time they want to go all the way across the property. 
the longest property line we have, all the way across the front. Oh, yeah, be on her property. We'll be on the right of way, state right, right of way. I thought we was across the, oh, well, yeah, in the front of it we will be. Can't, Tina, can I ask you, are you more I, concerned? I, just, I wanted, what I wanted and what I expected in the beginning was someone just to come, I mean, just like you said, Paul, you talked to several people. I don't know why you didn't reach out and ask me or my son. You know, the fact that Donald came up and said, the city, I don't even know if he said city, or he probably doesn't remember, but he just said, we want to bring Sora out here. We want Sora to come up and I'm not interested. That was just the honest truth. You don't think you're going to hear your property is going to be annexed a year later or two years later, but whatever it was. Can, That's why having a meeting can I ask you a question, Tina? Yes. Are you more concerned with the sewer line or are you more concerned with the annexation? I'm concerned with the annexation. The, the, the sewer line really does not affect the annexation. That would, oh. I mean, that's why we have to annex it to put the sewer line in. Yes, I'm but, concerned with the annexation. Okay. I'm like, that's what I'm how, how could you do this without telling me about it? I would say everybody in this room knows about it, but I didn't know about it until March 10th. So yeah, I was a bit concerned. I am still a bit concerned. That's right. I just was I still have a lot of questions. The sewer line was the one that was causing all the problems, no, or if it was annexation. I, I, I have questions problems. about the sewer line because the only information I was given on March the 10th was, oh, well, there's park problems out there, and we're, the plan is to come down your property on Perry, Washington, and go across. That's all I got. Actually, and I think I it's on the other side of Perry, Washington, and then it comes across the front of your. Well, front. that's what mm -hmm. Paul said at the meeting. Now yeah. we'll have to go up Danks because the clean water is coming up yours. So the, the county already has right of way for the clean water, which comes up Perry, Washington, on our property, all the way up. No problem. I knew that. Power lines come up and go down. But when you start to propose doing something new, you would think you would include the property owners. So they would know you want to do construction on both entrances to our building. You want to do construction. And we didn't even know you were going to annex the property. You want to annex and begin construction. So that was concerning. And yes, I started asking people. I started saying, Can, are you for this? Can you tell me what's fixing to happen? Because, and I got a, oh no, we're not for this. Everybody I talked to. And since then, a lot of these people were at the meeting Monday night, and I don't remember who informed us we needed to get a petition with signatures to stop the annexation, which is what we've done. I told you at the meeting that that is part of the process, that there yeah. is a time when petitions could come into play. That's, I can't help it, the state uh, guidelines rule all that. And I told you all that Monday night, that it's a process. It's not just something we uh, sat down and do. Can you explain the process after the petition? It goes through a vote on the ballot. Who's voting for Just the people in the subdivision. Ballot? In that subdivision. Just the yeah. subdivision. Just that subdivision. So either way, it's going to be the petition would work out one way or the other, whether you're for it or against it. it, it's, it and again, the only thing we're going to be out is it's a major grant that we're going to be out a lot of money well we're not out a lot of money that we'll lose out on and it would really benefit a lot more people than just you guys and I don't mean that bad because you don't if you don't want it you don't want it I'm not going to argue that one bit but I know it would open up for more people in more locations to get the sewer because of the lift station wouldn't have a thing to do with you but again I'm not if you don't want it that's your call I'm not going to say a word okay. but that's my that's my opinion and my opinion only and again, if you've got 11 out of 13 or 11 out of 15 or whatever it is, you know, that's fine. And it, but we still have to go through the process because of the grant, because of the way that it was designed. So there's no way to stop it when you've got this many people that say, because at that point, to me, it looks like you're just wasting time. Time's wasting time. But we're not wasting, we're not, we're, we have to go through a process just like anything else. It's just like a, if we wanted to, if we wanted to annex Hartford, We'd have to go through a process. You'd have to go through the, the annexation process and you'd do this, do this, do this, and then they would get to a point down the road where Hartford would get to vote on whether they want to be annexed into Beaver Dam or not. But would you think it'd be more beneficial just to go and ask before you go and write a grant? Again, I was under the impression that, that people had been asked. I'm sorry if, you, if I did not know that. I didn't go to each one of y'all's houses and knock on the door. I knocked on I knocked on Tina's door I think the day before Christmas because I had a present to deliver for her, but that's it. Oh really? Yeah. <laughs> that should have been on your front porch. Day before Christmas. Day before Christmas. 
in the snow. I had to go deliver. Yeah. Ah, I never saw a package on that front porch. Go in there. Yeah. But I mean, again, it's 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 not it's not going to be anything bad on us whether you do or don't, other than we've put in the time of writing the grant, get it proposed, and all that. And again, it wasn't just to benefit. Well, and apparently you don't want it, but I mean, it wouldn't have been just to benefit your subdivision. It was to benefit other people too. It's not just wasn't just you. The only reason we're not and nobody else's the vote is there's nobody else out there. Yeah. And the and the funding was there to do it. If something come up a year from now and you have problems with septic, it's going to cost you all a million dollars to yeah. fix it, not the city. It's not going to cost us a million dollars. <laughs> come on, we have septic tanks. <laughs> and, and all these people you're talking about in X and N have to pay increased taxes. There are a lot of things to consider besides the fact that you wrote a grant and you got the funding. You know, all these people, the majority, are against it. They are now, yeah. They were always against it. As well, I'm going to tell you that's not true. I talked to some of them myself. I don't care what they tell you, but that's enough. I'm going to leave that at that. You can just believe whatever you want to believe. Well, I mean, all I can believe is what people have told me, Paul. I understand. I'm the same way. You can only believe what people told exactly. you. Exactly. Yeah. Well, well we wouldn't um, went too far without that. Who do we give this petition to stop the intersection? Yeah, you just need yeah, to. Cause yeah, because it won't. So what is the deadline for that? Yeah. Well, we haven't done We hadn't even got to the point. Yeah, we haven't gotten like to the point. It may be yet. August or September before we're ready for that. And how are we going to be notified? Oh, their notifications have to go out at every step we make. Yeah. Well, now, Shelby, didn't you tell me it wasn't required for the first reading? That's why I didn't hear about it until the letters were mailed out for the second reading. So the letters were mailed out. For the second reading but yes. again the state has it set up in statute there was nothing to send out until we actually had a vote on the intent once we voted from the intent it, the process starts yes but it, I, I still find it a little shocking that you didn't have the vote secured well and i know it's just we easy. thought we did so i'll just leave it at that okay. there's no use just carrying that discussion on any further Yep. Right. Right. You'd have to no. get a second letter. It's no, there's no doubt about it. You have to get a second letter, and probably a third. Right? And yeah, and probably a third too, to be honest with you, because it's got to go through. Just like we have to jump through hoops to get a, a grant, you guys would have to jump through hoops to dispel the grant. But you, you get a grant involving people that don't want it. Again. I mean, I know you're saying that all of them did. So what but you're saying is there's going to be hoops that we got to jump through. So you can tell us yeah. or it's not going to happen. We're not going to go jump through the hoops. No, you still have your legal options. Yeah, you still have them. legal options as far as like what? We well, we have to notify no, you. It's, it's state law. It's pretty much in the state statute. Everything yeah. we have. To you have that notification legal right there. So yeah, we can't do anything with just that. It'd be nice if we could because there's some things I'd like to do we can't, but. You can't just go and say, like, I can't go to Brandy and, and, and the Darties and say, hey, I'm going to annex just that one house. You can't do that. It's against the law. And to do that, it would have to be something wrong with the property, a, a, a danger to your area or something before we well, can annex it and take care of it. We it's couldn't just, even do that. It, it would the state, it's just, well, yeah, the state's on a quarter annexation. Yeah. But there's just things spot. you have to do. And we can't do that without notifying you about what's going on. You'll know every step what we're doing. Well, you, you can understand my hesitation sure. in believing that because of how this happened with me. We followed state law. I don't know what more you want. Uh, I want to be notified when you're surveying my property and planning to annex it. That would have been nice. Someone reached out to Miles earlier? No, he did not reach out to Miles and tell him that our property was going to be annexed. I assure you, Miles would have been talking about that. Reached out about a possible sewer. You didn't that let me finish, but that's I, was our property. Yes, I, wasn't. I knew that. I knew you all weren't interested in it. So then you just bypass us when you start the annexation process. We had no choice but to annex yours too to get to the rest of the houses. You could have you could have had you didn't have to annex our farm. I don't I don't I'm not sure. I will have to like I said, I've had ten days. Today's the twentieth. I found out on the tenth. I have not had time to make the number of phone calls I would have needed to make to get all my questions answered. Of those 10 days, four of them were weekend days. So there just hasn't been enough time. That's why the whole process takes as long as it does. I mean, 
You'll have time is what he's saying. Oh, okay. down there's going to be. But but I'm starting at the, the rear end of it. If we could have avoided all this, I mean, we want it. We we got well, sewer, we got problems. The people behind us have problems. Somebody back there's got problems because it's on our land. So I know, you know, I know there's more problems than just us right here. And and it makes your property worth more money. I mean, there's no, so many good things. It and costs the taxes you more money. Are not that much. And everybody needs to understand that. It's yeah. going to cost them more. Now you have a farm. So as Paul pointed out at the last meeting, you're a farm. My it's not going to be more. What I've had Hers is the most expensive one out there. And I'm still poor. And we're going to. Her farm costs more than the property owners mm -hmm. as far as yeah. taxes they're going to have to pay? Yeah. Because you just sat there at the head yours, of that table and told me. Yours didn't. Mine. I don't know the difference, but. Mine doesn't. No, so it doesn't. It's just whatever they valued at at a certain point in time years ago when they did. Well, that's all going to change. We all know it. Yep. It's all going to change. She knows it. I know it. All well, that has nothing to do with whether you're annexing the city limits or not. Oh, it does. No, it doesn't. Taxes increase taxes when you have city the city taxes. I'm talking about the value of the property. The taxable no, value of the property does not change. He's given. I mean, I've got the amount sitting there in front of me that it's going to cost me a, a good roundabout amount. Um, it's definitely worth it for me. It's going to make my property worth more money. I'm going to have sewer and not have poop in my yard. Well, you know, that, that's But you live in the county, Charlotte. Now, this is doing the water sewer but you didn't mention the fee for us to run I mean I'm hearing numbers from six to thousand dollars or more just for us to run out to your the city's sewer. how much it, somebody just said you can look at anywhere from six thousand dollars or more to run our line oh. do you have because that's not in this that I'm seeing no it's not so but that's going to vary depending on how far it is it's I, I'm guessing right now. Needs to know because it could be the cost of a new septic system for some. I'd want to know what that is. Last time we looked at anything, it was about $18 a foot. So if it's 150 foot, it'd be $1,800, $2,600. And that's. Well, and I know the only subdivision is different. And I know a gentleman who's, of course, it was in Owensboro. And his brother's subdivision is going to cost him twelve thousand dollars to run his line just to the sewer to hook up. How far was he I running? Can't it? Imagine even maybe we don't need twelve thousand, but even three thousand. I wouldn't want to pay three thousand. I mean, that's just a quarter. Of that. That's, I mean, that's, 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 I mean, I don't want to pay a huge amount either. Yeah. To run it. So I will. I, I don't. I can't imagine it being very much at all. To be honest with you, I'm not saying it's going to be that's, fifty that's bucks. That's just but, one point. Yeah. Uh, we're not in. I don't want to be. I don't care. And no offense to you all, I don't care if I ever come to another city council meeting. Because I'm going to be the one that's going to be running the sewer. Yeah. Uh, and that's just the way it is. I mean, you know, I'm not going to be there and say, "Hey, can you please run the sewer?" I'm not going to do that. But I'm just saying, I'm not going to be the one going to be the one that's 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 going to be the one See, that's what y'all. It's not. It's not something we just went into lightly. Again, this is not something we went into lightly. We thought, literally, I thought it was all. It was okay with everybody. We honestly, my husband and I were. We were honestly open to it and wanted more information. That's what Joey had talked to you about when he first. That me hearing the ago. stories from the gentlemen. That was all I needed to hear of the issues that they were having. Yeah, we're not issues. having issues with our septic, and why I take that chance? And that's why you know I. Have his circumstances are a little unique because his house is lower than some of the lines that take the sewer out. He's supposed to have a backflow preventer on his, and he says he did, but it failed. I can't yeah. understand how. You don't know the guy on Cherry Lane? Oh, I went out there last week. I, I saw what was wrong with his. That one that they put in, they did not put it in right, and that's why it wasn't working properly. It had nothing to do with the sewer yeah. line. That wasn't anything we did. That was something that the person that put in that sewer piece did not do right. I went out and looked at it last week. But that's the story y'all don't hear. Yeah. <laughs> and the lady that was complaining about the water running in her garage, there is not a ditch one on that street because no one put culverts under the tile, put tile under you their, their, yeah. their uh, 
Wait, driveway. There's not one. And the, there was three out there that did have them, and they were this big. How much dirt and everything else would it take to fill it up? Not very much. And it, it, I agree with them that they need to do something. But that's something we're going to be working on in the, in the future, too. So. And, and as far as, like, what any house out there, any one of you all, for sewer to back up from this into your house, I feel sorry for anybody that lives at Cates Hill. Because, I mean, there's going to be water. There's three people in there. Huh? Three people on Cates Hill Loop, right? I'm talking about the property. It, I mean, the water will have to get up. The, the sewer water will have to get over 231 before it would back up into your house because you all are up on that hill. Yeah, well, I've never seen the water even get close to going up 231 there. Yeah, I know. That's, that's my saying, point. That's why you're saying your sewer would. Exactly. That's why you're saying that's, sewer would never. That's back up. my point. Okay. As far as yeah. people talking about concerned about sewer backing up, not working and backing up. But they don't have issues right now. That's what he's saying. Wow. Somebody is. What, what I'm saying is that I don't uh, really, the sewer is not going to turn behind. If the taxes and, the, and, and having to pay out more money, and I don't see that much benefit coming from it. Well, sewer systems, the septic tanks themselves have to last about 30 years. So if you haven't had problems, you're very lucky. If you haven't had I've been there 48 years. Well, you're very fortunate, Freddie. It must be your way your house is. Yeah, but Charlotte, you have to admit that those of us that live in the county live in the county for a reason. We understand we have to have the cost of the septic and, and maybe replacing the septic. That happens in every county across the United States. You can't expect the city to come in and rescue one or two property owners. But they're offering to, they're offering to put in a sewer system. We're going to make property more it's also going to raise your taxes. But it's not, it's not just your taxes, your insurance. Oh, yeah. oh, your insurance. It ain't going to be a big deal for me because I'm over 76 years old. I mean, a lot of people are thinking. His friends out here, it would be a big deal to him, but he's going to be paying for a long time. No, it's it's the home. It may be hardly any money to you, but hardly any money to you is it hardly any money to someone else. I'm, just I'm not low. I'm not saying that you are. I'm simply stating that your perception of hardly any money is not everyone's perception of hardly any money. I just think it's, I don't know what mine was, but it's, let's just say, let's just say it's $300. And that's, to have sewer out there to make your property worth more money, that $300 is worth it. But that's not $300, really, that's your, I mean, that's. No, that's no $300 a year. $300 a year. The rest of your life is for your heirs' life. It's from now on. And that, so that, that has to be a bad one. going to keep rising. But it's if you never sell the property, who's going to have a benefit from it? Well, what you're saying is at the end of it all, there's going to have to be a vote, right? If so, the petition, whatever doesn't matter, if you guys don't want it, when it comes up, you just vote no. I mean, we can debate all night, but that's what it boils down to. So. And I didn't expect the city to do anything for me. We're going to have to put in a sewer system. I don't know. And this came up, so yeah. Probably going to cost a lot less than one new service system. Is that the I don't know. I don't understand. But, uh, you know, they're just trying to do something to help us out, and if everybody wants it down, then they won't go. Trust me, we wouldn't be at this point right here today had I known what we find here today. We would never go to this effort. We put a lot of work into this because people were interested in it. But I know Charlotte's got problems, and, and I tell you, we have groundwater that runs right down that ditch. 50 feet in front of our house and it stinks all summer. Yeah. And it's coming from somebody else's house beside ours, just like hers is. Sorry. So it's, and, and, and I, if it doesn't pass, I'm going to find out what it's coming Yeah, it's going to have to stop. It's going to have to stop. Don? It, I've heard several different statements that we live in the country and we got to accept certain things. Well, the blue water that we get down right, in front of my house on both sides of the road, I have to accept that because that's that's legal. I don't like it, but it's legal. The sewer water that, that I mow in part of the time, I don't like that, and I don't have to accept it. Because I mean, you're looking at even if I'm living, what would you do if I pump my sewer water down on you? 
Do you think it's not coming on down that hill? No, you were the one who said you had to accept some things. I, I know. I said that. living in the it's country. It's going other direction. Living in the country, we have Tina, to. it's going the other direction, the sewer water issue. It's coming under the high, under the blacktop. From under the blacktop across to you? No. Between me and Mr. Darty, the sewer come under the blacktop because I had a track hole out there a few years ago, and I know where it comes from. Now, I'm so not going to accept. I, it doesn't matter. Come on, ask. We don't know who. I don't know who. It's getting hurt. We don't know. Because hmm? I'm not having any issues. It, it's just like what, what Mr. Darty gets hung up in all the time. That's sewer water. Well, we don't know where that it is. I don't know who it is. That's how it does not drain, and he's getting, it does not smell. <laughs> it, right it's now, not supposed to drain in the open. Our gravel is blocking our pond. It's supposed to perk out. It's not supposed to drain. It's supposed to perk out. Okay, well, we're going to have to go ahead. Yeah, we don't know where it's coming from. I don't know where it's coming from, know. but I, I will not accept. Like it. Like it. And it was, it was a deal. I mean, I, 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 hey, but that, that may be correct, but they, they seem like they are siding with you that they don't want to I don't know, I don't know about them. them. I don't even know their name. I guess it's Felty since we but, didn't know that name when we called it. We, we, we don't have to accept uh, nastiness just because we live in the country. You obviously have misunderstood what is Felty. I said because I, I moved to the country because I didn't want to be under the city. That is what I meant and what I said. So other people, so you've got other people out there, you want to end up to Mr. City because you're having a problem. That, that, I just made a statement and, I, and that's all I want to make. Well, did you have any issues with that said empty for so long? Um, I, I, I can tell you. My memory's not so good. I mean, it's just been a Because he's just recently I don't remember getting living there. there. He just thought he was there for a while. Long ago. I don't, he looked into it and said emptying his son wanted a home, and we found out it was condemned because the uh, septic was in the wrong Okay, people, I'm just, uh, we're going to have to think about this. I'm going to, uh, the commission, I'm going to table this uh, item for a future date to be determined. Second. second. Motion is second. Those in favor signify aye. 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 Opposed, same. Motion passes. We'll take a motion to adjourn. We'll make a motion to adjourn. Second. Motion second. Those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, same. Thank you. Thank you.